What is going on, everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I know I sure am. I've been waiting on this camper for, man, six or seven months to get my first 2022 Riverstone 442 MC. I think this is a floor plan you're absolutely going to love. And the thing that I like about this one, and I'm going to make another one here in a couple weeks with the Legacy Package when I get my next one in, but this one is pretty much the standard build. The You don't have that um, the full body paint on the exterior like you would with the Legacy Package, but the standard paint or the standard fiberglass job on this is absolutely beautiful. You have five slides, all of which have the slide toppers on there, which is a pretty sweet feature to have. This kitchen has infinity lights right above your island with accent lighting all over the place. You got your TV with the built-in sound bar and this really sweet little coffee area, all of which I'll break down in this video. I'm gonna do about 15 to 20 minutes on the inside, probably five to 10 here on the outside, show you some things on why I've been waiting for this camper for so long, and I'm sure you have as well. But in the back, you have this, the MC portion. I'm gonna call it the man cave. You know, I don't know if that's the actual name for it, but it is pretty sweet. It's got kind of a movie theater homey feel to it. So it's gonna be kind of that rear living situation, but you got a couple couches, you got a TV with the fireplace to keep it nice and cozy. But the special part is you have this bed that comes from the ceiling and lowers it down, kind of making this a two bedroom unit. And then of course, just like all the traditional Riverstones, this bedroom is absolutely beautiful. Washer and dryer prep. Not only is it prepped, but it is in this unit. But I hope you guys enjoy. Again, this is the non-legacy edition 2022 Riverstone 442 MC. My name is Hunter. Down in the description, you'll find my contact information. If you like me, I'd love to talk to you. Get the opportunity to maybe sell you a camper. But regardless, my contact information down is, is down in the description along with the specifications of this unit. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys like and subscribe for more content here in the future. Uh, man, I'm so freaking pumped. Let's get right on into it. Ah. All right, guys. So we're going to start here on the inside. But first, I wanted to show you what the standard exterior looked like. So you have a nice little comparison. And I said in the introduction that five slides, this is a five slide unit. It's actually a six slide. What I meant to say is they have five slides, these two, and then three more on the other side with the slide toppers. But as there is the sixth little mini slide right here. So just wanted to point that out for you. But now let's jump right in. I figure we're gonna go kitchen, back room, bedroom, and then back around the outside. But this is in the decorator white and right when you walk in this just has the wow factor this rv is freaking cool so you got the infinity lights your island kitchen your big bad boy samsung refrigerator which for fits more food you know than anybody really needs but uh you got it so you can get it so right over here this first main slide the first thing i want to point out is the slide size compared to most brands of campers. This is Forest River's top of the line brand. It's the Mac Daddy. It doesn't get much better than this. Uh, it doesn't for Forest River, but you have this nice, tall, wide slide. I am six feet tall and you can see, I mean, I bet that slide is probably somewhere, you know, just shy of seven feet. Pretty cool there. What you get out of that is a little bit more of a residential feel. It feels huge in this room. You're not cramped up. You got these nice windows that go all the way across. Another one right here, all of which have the day shades and the night shades. So you can let a little sun in or you can get your Dracula on and block out everybody. Both of these are gonna be emergency windows. So you pull and push and pop and you're out. You got this little breakfast nook right there, which is pretty cool. That's set up for uh, you know breakfast for two. You also have your cubbies there underneath. But then this is pretty sweet on most of the river stones. Well, all of them that I can think of that have this table. Bada bing, bada boom. You pull that out. You put your insert there. And now you got to set up for four. So pretty cool. Pretty versatile there. Nice and compact. Doesn't get in the way. Couple outlets. And then right here, you got a desk. So if you're working on the road or on vacation, got a couple things you want to do or just stay in touch with people in general, you got a place where you can do so. Get all your work done. Sit down and read maybe. Uh, but it's pretty nice. And right here, of course, you got a little organizer for, you know, all your cords. And hopefully you got one heck of a view there out all these windows. 
three of those, all of which are going to be soft closed. The bottom one's going to be a little bit bigger. All of these do open too, by the way. So all the windows open so you can get a really nice, excuse me, cross breeze. All of this is going to be one piece storage. So really good storage and the depth on this is pretty darn good. You know, it goes about elbow deep or so with my fingers extended. Again, soft close with the magnetic latch. Honestly, one of my favorite things about the kitchen is this little TV area. I just picture setting up like a little, um, you know, Bloody Mary bar or maybe some, you know, some other types of drinks. Uh, you know, even food kind of laying out. Maybe one of those little charcuterie boards or whatever the heck they call them. Fancy people do. Uh, you could do that right there. The accent lighting's looking beautiful. But what you get is a ton of storage down there. And then you get some more storage up around the TV. This TV also has a built-in sound bar. It's the Connex. So not only is it nice and large, but you do get some extra, you know, sound out of it as well. Now this is going to be the same left and to the right. Again, you got the soft close. You got outlets here and over there. Plenty of storage. And then bada bing, bada boom, there's that other outlet. And then speaking of storage, look at this right here. I mean, this is one of the beautiful things about this floor plan and something that the high slide height allows you to do. Tons of extra storage here. So this is all one big slide with the refrigerator, you know, and this, but check out that. How many times have you seen that in a camper? I mean, that is just incredible. And then underneath, you have six of these pull-out drawers. All right, so the island. First, let me go ahead and clean this off here. You got the solid surface countertops. Good thing about this is if something does chip, all that goes straight through. So it is not, uh, you know, just pure white underneath. This is patterned all the way throughout. But I think the decor is looking good. I like how they inserted the black on there. It really makes a nice little pop on this. Gives a little, you know, back and forth, whatever you call that in the art world. Um, that's what that's looking like. Fancy, fancy. I like how they put the accent lighting all around. You got yourself a big old uh, washer and dryer. They're not washer and dryer. Jeez, oh, Pete's dishwasher. Double bowl undermounted stainless stink, along with the high rise faucet with that little snake doodad. Storage and some access to your plumbing. Then that pulls out, you know, for your uh, for your garbage. So this refrigerator is in travel mode right here. So to get that, you know, kind of when you're in chill mode, when you're in parking it mode, you want to put stuff in it. You just simply unscrew that. And this isn't powered up. This is all running off the solar right now. But this gives you a good idea. Here soon, we'll get these drawers out, set this all up before it gets prepped up and shipped out to the customer. And this is going to be your freezer. So you got the two sliding trays. And then right here, you got your oven and your microwave. It's a convection microwave as well. So you get a little bit more versatility out of that. Storage all the way up and around. Again, you're not going to hear any slams. Those are all soft close. Now, the thing that I like about this oven that they do in all of the Riverstones, it is the Insignia. If you're not too familiar with RV ovens, this is the industry's largest oven. So if you check that out, I mean, you could cook, you know, an actual turkey in there. You could do everything that you want, just like it would be at your normal house. You also have the four stovetop burner and plenty of counter space and outlets on both sides. Again, it's that nice solid south surface countertops. And then this back little backsplash area, you know, actual hand laid tiles there, which is nice. You got the infinity light, you have your max air vent, which the controller for that 
is going to be right here up against the wall. So with a click of a button, bada bing, bada boom, you're sucking out some of the, uh, maybe you're cooking breakfast or maybe you just want some air circulation on a rainy day. That allows you to do that nice and easy. And then you also have your fan to kind of push everything around. But let's give you one good look here of the kitchen again. And we'll go back to that, uh, that little man cave I was talking about. So this back here is going to be the money maker for this floor plan. Not only is this a bath and a half unit, and you got your half bath right in here. You know, this isn't anything too special. You got enough room to get stuff done, keep your guests nice and happy. But you got your little ladder hang up right there for the bed that will drop down. I know you're dying to see it, so I'm going to prolong it. Solid surface or solid uh, tiles right there. Flush mount bowl, some storage and access to your plumbing. All right, so the bed, it's right up there. It gets lowered down from the ceiling to make a queen. I guess I'll go ahead and show you that. So it's called a Euro loft. You take this key, you flip it, you hold down right there. It is nice and smooth. Again, this is all running off of just the solar. Now, what I'll do is I'll try to find the weight limitations on this and put that down in the description. But, I mean, look how freaking cool that is. So, when you are done for the night and you just want some extra sleeping, that right there can make a bed. I probably wouldn't sleep anybody in the recliners, but that right there does make a bed. And then, obviously, this drop down, you know, it's a full-size queen right there looking pretty sweet. And then to put it back, you simply just go to the controls. And you just lift her on up. Runs pretty smooth, pretty darn easy. I mean, it's one of my favorite features in the floor plan. I've been in a lot of campers. I've done a lot of these videos, probably about 200 between my short tours on Instagram, you know, and the longer tours like this on YouTube. And I have never seen anything like that before. Uh, that is just flat out cool. Now, when you're, when you're done and it's set up and you don't want kids to mess around with it, flip that to off pop the key out, you know, hide it. You're good to go. Keep that with the, uh, keep that with the adults. But anyway, so when you're back in kind of this daytime chill mode, you still have your two recliners right over here. Those are going to be power recliners. So you got the controls on right there and right there. You got your USB charging ports. There's also a place where you can click on the light. If this was plugged into power, a couple out or a couple of windows there for a cross breeze. And another emergency exit window, which you can pull and pop, much like the other ones here in the front. The storage up top goes both ways, all the way across the slide. So plenty of storage there. Again, soft close. That couch will pull out to make a bed. I'm not going to set that up today, but I might here in the future video, which, by the way, I will tag up in that top right at the time of making this video. But the time I published... You know, I don't have one here to do that quite yet. You got these awesome three big windows here right off the back. So hopefully you get a good view. Again, they all open up. You're also going to see you have outlets and outlets. You also have your control panel right here. So this is going to be your manual side. Anything you see with these little arrows, that means it's a dimmer. So the accent lighting, for instance. Well, maybe it's not working because I'm not plugged in. But anyway, you can dim those lights how you see fit. So if you don't like how bright it is in here right now, you can dim that down all right there. Or you can use the actual, you know, the Myra or Firefly app on your phone or the electric control, which will be towards the front of the camper, which we'll get to here in just a moment. But you have this big bad boy ref uh, shoot, fireplace. Man, I'm stumbling and mumbling in this one. But you got this big old fireplace right here. That thing goes up to 100 degrees. It does not mess around. That thing is pretty freaking hot. It'll get you sweating in no time. It also has four different color modes. My preference is the white one. I just think it looks really cool having that nice soft glow there at night. The Riverstone does have the JVL speakers. So you got that right there. That's A, B, and C. That's inside, outside, both sides. So you can get music bumping you know, on both. To do that, you do have to get the outside TV option, I do believe. But you got this big old TV, plenty of storage all the way around. 
We got three of those. And what I like is even these are the soft clothes, which are pretty cool. So that's that man cave room. Let me give you one more little look of rune ski around this. Pretty cool. Now in the 2023s, uh, this flooring, you can either get a stone floor or a wood floor, and they're going back with the one piece linoleum, you know, which is a plus. They're having a couple issues every so often with some of those tiles kind of unsticking. Uh, so that's their way of kind of getting around that, but it is a luxury, uh, you know, flooring still. All right, you got the main entrance right here. You're heading up the stairs into the bedroom, bathroom. But before we get there, you do have a central vac. So you lift that up, you're good to go, brushing the dirt down in there. You got your control center right here. So you can control each and every individual light. Again, you can go ahead and hit the dimmers from here as well. Uh, all nice features, but you can flip it all off or you can hit bedroom all on, bedroom all on, boom, boom, boom. Change all your settings. You have your home master light on and off as you can tell it's 90 degrees in this thing i'm sweating like a mother but you know it's what you gotta do to make the videos sometimes but then the slides everything is nice and color coordinated you know which is pretty sweet so that way there's no confusion really anybody can do it but the hvac system is pretty nice you can actually get this with the three acs on an energy management system so that way you can set you know each room it'll kick two on at once this one's got the two which is more than enough you only run two at a time anyway but you can set each room to a different temperature, which is always nice. And then over here, it kind of gets into the more nerdy stuff. You know, you can set your time, your dimness, switch panel info, you know, all that. And then electric, talks about your power source, yada, yada, yada. But if you guys want to download the app there on your phone, that's what that looks like. You can just download it right here, download the Myra app, and you're good to go. You got this nice railing right here heading up, which is extremely sturdy. I mean, I'm shaking that. You got this nice window, again, with the day shade and the night shade. You got this bathroom. You got the max air right there up top. Love the way that the shower's looking. You got a lot of storage here to your left. So you got three of these. One, two, and three. The shower, pretty sweet looking. I mean, there's not much to say about that, but it is just a cool looking shower. And then you got this nice little sunlight, which is in so many campers, but that really just adds not only to get some natural lighting in here, but if you're a little taller, you know, you got plenty of headroom. Foldable bench right off the wall. Again, in the bathroom, you got the real tiles, plenty of solid surface countertop and the flush mount bowl right there. And then right here, hey guys, hey. well I'm doing a video, but you guys can come in. Nice. Okay. And this is going to be the bedroom, it's dimmed down the lights a little bit for you. Now this one is a queen bed, but you do have an option for the king. And if you would like, since this is the first one, say hello everybody. Hello. <laughs> Uh, underneath here you got some storage that's going to be the insert for the table uh, that's out there i don't know if they ordered the two extra chairs but that would allow that table to go from two to four people again they ordered this with the queen but you can get a king so that'll fill kind of in that gap otherwise it just gives you more walk around space you got the two tops right there with a little bit of storage. And then on both sides, one thing that I do like, you have outlet, USB, outlet, and USB. And then on the inside here next to the beds, you have these windows that you can open up as well. This room does get a lot brighter. The dimmer is working in here for sure right now. As you flip it around, you got this window. It's going to be an emergency exit, so pull and push again. Even that comes with that day and night shade, but you get plenty of counter space 
Use this as a little dresser. You got three of these on either side. And then right there, you got some extra storage there in the middle, a little bit bigger. Connex TV with the built-in sound bar. And then you have your cadet wall heater. And again, that thing puts out an absolute ton of heat between this and the electric fireplace, you know, on a chilly day, but not a cold day. It should be enough to, you know, fill up the uh, whole camper with some good heat. I'll show you this side first. This has the washer and dryer. It is already installed. The hookups are going to be right in there. But as you can see, it fits a fully stackable washer and dryer. If you decide to not have it, it would basically just be more hanging space for you. Give you a look right here of what it looks like when it's all closed up. Looking pretty sharp, looking pretty nice. And then right here is going to be the other side of the closet. So you got your hanging rack for more hanging items. You have a cedar backed little cubby area. Again, with the outlets, you also have satellite data cables going to be right behind there. You got a little window if you weren't to use this, um, you know, as the um, washer and dryer, but you got a little window to access some stuff right there. And then you have more cubbies and more hanging room. But pretty cool little closet. You got your King Wi-Fi extender, and then this is going to be your solar charge control panel. So you can see on a sunny day like today, it is pumping out some serious power. I think that about wraps it up here for the inside portion of the store. Again, it's the 2022 Riverstone 442MC. Now let's, uh, I'll show you this one more time just a little bit, and then we'll jump around the outside. You guys are all going to be famous. Good. Already there, bub. Two to three hundred people will see you easy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now we are back around on the outside. And if you guys forgot, again, this is not the Legacy Editions. This is the standard exterior to it, but it is still looking pretty sharp. You know, you can get that legacy package or you can still get the standard with the full body paint. It runs you about $10,000. But as you can see, you got the three axles, you got three slide outs on this side. So six slide outs on this. It also has two awnings. So you have this one big one size will be down in the description of the camper. Then you got this one that extends, you know, off of the slide out itself. You have tons of storage here on the outside. You know, they just, they just sneak some in, you know, every so often. So while it might not seem like much, if you're a seasoned, you can thank that big redheaded beauty for stopping my video there, playing some very inappropriate music. <laughs> but as I was saying, you got some extra exterior storage, which is always nice. Nothing that is huge, but if you have been camping, you know, this is nice to have. And if you guys do order this with the outside tv you do get an outside tv i believe it is here actually it's right there with the outside speakers as well but instead we got it with the extra storage which is nice show you what those slide toppers are looking like pretty fancy six point hydraulic auto leveling to go along with those three axles those are going to be those Cooper tires, so really nice, well-respected brand. And what I do like about these exterior storage doors is on these struts, so they hold themselves up. Entry steps, solid surface. If you guys have been shopping there for a while, you kind of know what those are. The one advantage that the Riverstone does have is they're using the step above, which, you know, keep it nice and light for you. You can, you know, you don't have to worry about bonking your head or slamming down on you, you know, if there are any kids around. I mean, just one finger, I can push that up and down, you know, no problem. But I'm going to leave that down because this is our first one. So we're going to have salespeople come and, you know, take a couple tours, you know, here and there of it. So right here, you do get a couple outlets for some outside power. This is going to be your pass-through storage right here. You got the diamond-plated floor. This is the other side of your central vac system, so where you control it, along with your outlets. And then one thing that's nice about the Riverstone is they are welded at all the points. And right here, this little door, it will slide open, you know, and close for you. That way you can get into any of your maintenance items. 
The inverter is going to be right over there, which I'll show you here in a little bit once we get to that other side. Nice, thick slam latch doors right here. So it's got to have the metal latches. So it makes it nice and sturdy. <laughs> well, heck. It's supposed to close just like that. 30 pound propane tanks. And one thing I do like too is the slide setup that they have right here. It's all laminated and hard as a rock under there. So you don't have to worry about some of the problems you will on some lower quality brands. That awning does have LED lights underneath. And then you have the LED light right here. The scamper is also prepped for the four camera safety system. So you'd have a camera right here, one on the front right, one on the front left, and then one off the rear. And I'll show you all those as we continue on. You have the Kurt Rotaflex, which is a little bit nicer than your standard, like a Rhino box or something like that, just from the fact that it's a pivoting head right here. So as you kind of hit a bump, you know, it kind of pivots, takes out some of that chucking and bucking while you're driving down the road. You got your generator box. So if you want to put a generator, you just plug and pop, you're good to go. Some LED lights to help you when you're backing up. And this is going to be the, the driver's side. So you got your three slides, one, two, and three, all of which have those slide toppers like I referenced before. This is where that other camera would go. It says room for four batteries. They are on these little trays that you can push these little, you know, the little yellow parts down right there. If you had two hands available, but those do slide out, so they're sliding trays. The back end here of the pass through storage, so you got your inverter to help turn that sun into power. Your level up system, so that's right there where you control that. And this is going to be your docking station. So you have your battery disconnect, your water filter, you know, all your different spray ports and everything that you need to winterize your camper, including your black tank flush and all your low point drains. You know, all right here, including your black tank and your bath tank valves. Your Truma AquaGo water heater. That's going to be the back end of that. Uh, sewer outlet connection. Wastewater holding tanks. Gives you a nice little view here of underneath the camper too. It's all well insulated and buttoned up. Black tank flush rooney here for the outside. And it does look like they got the road armor suspension system, which is nice. And then right there are the valves for your galley tank and your black tank. And then that's going to be your power cord reel is right in there. So that way you can get your power cord, you know, in and out real nice and fast. And then, of course, you got yourself a ladder. Now, I have heard a couple of people in some videos think that this is bent. That is actually designed so your foot can get on there a little bit easier as you pull yourself up. So it is not bent. That is exactly how it is designed. And as you can see right here, you got your frameless tinted windows. This is a fully walkable roof so you can get up there, hang out, check all your seals, do everything that you need to do maintenance wise, you know, and not worry about it. And then right up here, that's going to be the backup portion you know, of the four camera safety system. Or you can just add that one individual one for when you're driving down the road. Runs you about 550 bucks installed. I would recommend the Furion S Vision. Hitch rating, 300 pounds. Bada bing, bada boom. But you know what? I think that about wraps it up. Again, my name is Hunter. My contact information is down in the description. Hope you guys liked this video enough and found value in it to consider you know, subscribing, dropping a like, maybe even saying hi in a comment. All the specifications will be down in the description of this video. But this was the 2022 Riverstone 442 MC. I appreciate you guys for watching. Have a great day. See ya.